G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at XFCE4 Doclight plugin. This is a viewer request. I've got a viewer that's been watching me for a long time, Johan. Some of you may be familiar with Johan. He's always in chat. I see him in live chats a lot. He's always commenting on my videos. So are a lot of other people. And uh, I love the interaction. Johan asked me to um, help him out with regarding the installation of this XFCE4 Doc-like plugin, Doc-like taskbar for the XFCE desktop. So um, I was checking this out. This is the website I found. I've got some theming and stuff there. I haven't really got into that. Um, this is the download. Um, you can download tar.bz2 file here. And then there's a link here to the source code repository which um, tells you how to build and install. This was the sticking point here is the build and install because there's a lot of dependency issues going on with this build and install. What I did was as I went along I was taking down notes for the build itself. Doc like there it is. So these are the dependencies that well some of them anyway this one was already installed and there was um, a lot of uh, development um, dependencies that had to be installed to get this going. So whenever you uh, decided to build, make and install, so you get to this point, you, it, you actually extract it with this uh, command here and then it, it changes directory into the extracted folder and then you just run the dot configure and then the make. I think it's the dot configure um, where it comes up with all the dependencies. Now, it only does it one at a time. So you sort out one dependency, then you then you try it, then you run dot configure again, and then there'd be another dependency not um, that it's that's needed um, that's not installed, and whether they're in the repositories or not is another thing. So I chased down most of these um, which are in the repositories, uh, but I had to try and figure out which ones on some occasions figure out which ones they were because the dependency that was missing might be um, just a dependency of one of these, one of many dependencies under all of these other small dependencies here. It, it's, um, I'm no expert. I just, I don't like, <laughs> I don't really like building um, or um, compiling. I think this is called compiling, I'm not sure. But build, I'll call it build, building it and installing it. Um, it can be a bit of a nightmare, can be a bit of fun as well. But uh, Johan was asking for help and I was only too happy to help out. That's what my channel's all about, helping people. A lot of the times if I'm not making videos, I'm either helping people or just checking things out for myself, pretty much. This is the dock-like um, plugin and it's like a Windows dock really. And it's got the usual dock that works I think a little bit like the one in uh, on the cinnamon desktop in in Linux Mint and maybe a bit similar to the Windows one as well and it's got all these previews here as well so if you've got one folder open here another folder open there another folder open there I've already tried this didn't go too far into it and then you can just close them here and here so we'll get to that and we'll check it out there was no easy way to let Johan know how to install this. So what I did was, I did this. What I've done is I've made a bash script for Johan and for anyone else who wants to try it out. So if we, um, what I'm going to do is take down that website under the virtual machine. I don't have um, text and stuff sharing on here, so I'm gonna have to type it out probably. So we'll do that and then we'll get back. This is my GitHub account. I don't know why this uh, repository is not showing up here. That's a bit weird. I haven't noticed that. But this is the, this will be the one here. So let's go to that. I'll leave this link in the description below. Now what we can do here is download the file as a zip. Now I don't know if we're going to have issues with this. Oh no, it's downloading straight away. You might get some sort of redirection to some Google home page. I think it's just... If you can find up in the top right hand corner where it says 
download original or something. I think it's original and then you should be fine. Um, that's happened to me a few times. So let's save that. So let's go to my downloads folder and that's the one there, XFC doc-like plugin. Let's extract that, extract here. Open that up. It's got a readme here, so let's open that up first. I've just written a few things down here. This procedure may not be necessary in the future if this doc-like plugin taskbar is added as a default option by the XFCE team. I created this script to help a fellow Linux community member who was having trouble installing this plugin. Please keep in, keep in mind I've, I have tested this in Peppermint based on Debian 11 uh, without issues as of the 23rd of April. I, I suggest testing this script in a virtual environment first as I cannot guarantee it will not create issues on your Linux install. This has been tested with Peppermint which is now based on Debian 11 so I suppose it should work on Debian 11 XFCE desktop environment. I have not tested this and I haven't tested on any Ubuntu based XFC desktops. So to install just navigate to the folder where the XFC doc like plugin sh file is which is where we are. Right click anywhere within the file manager and open in terminal. So right click and open in terminal. And then all we need to do is run this command here. You could copy and paste that into the terminal. And let's just have a quick look at uh, panel and add new items. And we're looking for task or doc like. And as you can see, there's nothing in new items uh, under those names in the XFCE panel. So we're gonna copy this, paste it into here and enter. Um, you might have a, an issue with uh, permissions. Uh, just click allow executing files program. If you get that error, that's what that's all about. And then we shall try again. So let's just clear that off. Arrow up for the last command and enter that. Put in my password. Now what it's going to do is it's going to run an update and an upgrade on your peppermint first. Uh, that's always the best thing to do. And that's what it's doing at the moment. And then it will go to the command of downloading. So this automatically downloads the make file and everything and then builds it and installs it. So I updated this peppermint, I think, uh, a couple of days ago. So it's probably just done another quick update. Th this is the problem with uh, building, making, and configuring or compiling these things. We need to uh, press yes for that. That's the dependencies it's probably going to install. Yes, if, you, um, if you're not updated or maybe if you're too far updated, it, it still may not work. So that's why I always do an update first to make sure. But it should be fine anyway, I'd say. And that is the build complete. So let's close that terminal. Let's close that. Close the readme file. And now we'll go to panel and panel preferences. No, um, items. I want to add an item, don't I? <laughs> panel and add new items. Search for task and there's the doc like taskbar. Let's add that to the panel and close. We'll minimize that. Let's um, move that if we can. 
I think I had a problem moving this. You can't move it the traditional way. Um, just right clicking on that is remove. So what we need to do is go to panel preferences, go to items, and we need to search for this. Now this one's next to the clock. So it's gonna be separator, I think. So just start clicking an arrow there, see if it moves. No, that's a separator. So let's go to this one. And as you can see, that dock is moving. It's called separator, which is what happens in XFCE. And we shall move it over to the far left hand side and close that. So let's um, remove these ones on here. Let's remove that. Let's close that for now. Uh, probably need to open something up, I think. Files. Uh, pin to dock so uh, when we open things up we need to pin it to the dock and then that dock will remain uh, this one was already there anyway it's your peppermint hub I think it is yet so I suppose what we need to do is go through and um, pin things that we haven't already pinned um, this one doesn't seem to want to pin so I suppose the other thing we need to do is um, not add, what am I doing? Panel preferences, items, the windows buttons, we probably need to remove that as well, don't we? Remove that. Can we pin that? Yes, we can. Not that I wanna pin that. Oh, that's, um, can we pin from here? Doesn't look like it, that's open audacity. Okay, okay, I don't know what that was all about. Pin to dock. Yeah, the problem with Firefox is, is um, I think I installed that with um, straight from the internet and it's not part of the, uh, I think I made a desktop file for it. Uh, I had a bash script for that as well, I believe. Um, let's have a look. I think I used my browser script, yeah, so that's how I've installed Firefox. So for some reason, that doesn't want to integrate with this dock-like taskbar. All I can do is remove it on a right click. It's asking for an update. Download Firefox. All right, let's um, do a couple of things that will work. Uh, GIMP. Terminal, see GIMP's not integrating either. I'm not sure how I've installed GIMP. Uh, let's uh, do the terminal. Let's do um, flat pack list, I think it is. App image pool. Let's do Gwen view. Pin to dock. GIMP is definitely not installed from there. I'm not sure how I've installed GIMP. Synaptic Package Manager, we could put that in there as well, couldn't we? Pin to dock. Left click hides the application. Left click again. Um, makes the application appear again on the screen. Uh, right click is remove, right click again, we'll go to this close button here. Belina Etcher, that, now that's a app image. That's definitely, I'd say, an app image. What I've done is I've installed a few app images um, using the app image pool, I think. But I think I was also messing around with the app image launcher. So my app images are in downloads, apps, app image. So let's just quickly check that out. Downloads, apps and app image. Yes, GIMP is an app image. So all of these are app images. So any app image is not integrating into the dock. 
So I'm just using some of these native applications to check out the doc. So let's um, right click here. Uh, we've got pin to doc, edit launcher, um, links associated with that application. In this case, uh, files has got, this is a right click by the way. Um, edit launcher, home, computer and trash. So we can do that. And if we open, once it's open, it's got a lot more options. Um, we can open uh, computer and we can open trash. Now we've got three different things open. Now we've got three instances of um, Thunar open and it's got this here, but there is a settings for this. Okay, so if we want to, I think uh, we need to go into the panel preferences, uh, go to items. And now we are the second one, for, I think it's this one here and we can edit that. And that's the dock-like taskbar. So you've got to do it from the panel. And you can pretty much guess, you know, that's your uh, launcher is this one for the menu. The second launcher, obviously, in place is the one that we installed, the dock-like. It won't call it that. You just got to try and figure out which one it is. Click this button here. Edit the currently selected item. Now what we can do is uh, don't show the window list for a single window. Only show applications on the current workspace. Only show applications on the current display. Show preview thumbnails, that's what we're missing there. And show the number of open windows if more than two. So strangely enough, it doesn't, even if you've got two open and this is not checked, it doesn't show the amount of windows that it's got open and let's have a look at that real quick computer and trash and now we've got the windows preview there like so which is quite nice it's got the name of which instance it is pretty handy and um okay so just left clicking that closed each one one by one if you continue to left click and then once they're all closed and you, and you click again, then it opens the whole three again. So yes, there's no number on here. Even if you close one, there's no number showing that there's two open. So if we go to panel preferences again, items, this one here, edit. Now if we do that and then we open a third one, which was trash, now it shows the number three. If you can see that, I'll zoom in on that. It's got the number three in there, but it only shows you once it's more than two. And it doesn't show you if it's two or less. Now I suppose we need to look at uh, the, some of these settings here. Uh, indicator style, uh, that little bit this bottom one here um, you've got bars, dots, so the dots represent how many windows are open, does it? But it only says two. Rectangles and none. So bars was the first one. We'll leave it on original for now. Indicator orientation. You can have it on the bottom, which you can have it on the right. You can have it on the top or you can have it on the left which is a bit weird i think i'd just rather it on the bottom <laughs> yeah left and right looks a bit weird active indicator is blue inactive indicator you can change the color of the inactive indicator um which probably red is a good color for inactive isn't it select that so if we make it dots does it have a so it's got two inactive windows. Okay, that's I think that's what that means. Right, but if you got bars, the whole bar is red. Active indicator, inactive indicator. Let's just try with the dots. See how we go with that. You can force icon size and you can change. Oops, that's a bit big. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't know what happened there. One of those icons, Audacity went, oh, and Terminal both went really crazy. 24, oh, now it's back to normal. Um, 32, 48. <clears throat> Yeah, I think we just um, leave that unchecked seems to be fine. So you can switch between applications with super plus one, two and so forth. So let's try that. Switch to the last window with super. Let's try that. So if we, I'm assuming um, like in Unity, if you hold the super down, it'll give you some numbers, but it's not doing that. So I'd have to think that um, the numbers will be represented in the order that they're in. That's uh, so I have to think super and number one will open the file manager. I'd have to think. Thinking logically, um, super one. Oh no, that just opens the. Let's just check that out once again. Panel preferences items. What's that say? I'll switch between, I thought it meant open. I, I read that wrong. Switch between applications with super and one and two and so forth. Switch between. Okay. Let's open that, 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 and that. Super one, super two, super three, super four. I don't know how that's supposed to work. Super one. Isn't that pretty much saying it's an alt tab? That's an alt tab anyway. Is that the default alt tab or is that part of the taskbar? I don't know. It looks nice anyway. I cannot get that to, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Switch to the last window with super. Super just opens the menu. <laughs> just wondering whether we need to close everything for that to work. Let's just quickly log out. See if that works. So we're switching between windows. Or is it uh, windows of the same instance that they're talking about? Let's just right click that and open a couple more. <clears throat> super one, super two. Um, I'm clicking super and numbers, but nothing's happening. It's probably in early development stages anyway, so there's probably no surprises that some things won't work. So that is the Doclight taskbar for the XFCE desktop. From what I can see at the moment, um, it's definitely not working with app images. So what I'm tempted to do is install a flat pack to see whether it works with flat pack. Probably better off just to install Firefox from FlatHub, aren't I? <laughs> so let's install GIMP from FlatHub. Um, I'm pretty sure I have flat pack support in here. Let's just do that real quick. Let's copy that. Paste that. Yes. So we'll just quickly install GIMP and see if um, that works as a flat pack. Let's, um, let's remove the GIMP that's in here because that's an app image. Remove application from system. That's the app image. Um, let's do that. Okay, let's do that. Now that that is the app image, um, what is it? App image launcher settings. So it's removed it using that. So we'll see how we go with that. This VM is at a point where I can just do a restore and put it back to what it was before I started this video. So if I mess this video up, I can uh, reset it and start again. So how many takes have I done so far? <laughs> this is the first one. <laughs> Hopefully the only one. And that is the uh, GIMP flat pack installed. So let's um, check that out. We should now have GIMP in the menu. We do. Let's open that up. And uh, well, let's see. No. So flat pack also doesn't integrate with the dock like taskbar either. So that's a bit of a shame. So I don't know whether I don't know if there's a way of fixing that. I didn't see anything within the preferences uh, to sort anything for that out under this uh, under these settings here. 
So like I said, uh, it's in probably early development stages and people were just keen to try it out. Johan is one. And also Dan, Dan who talks with us on um, Linux Saloon and he's also chats on, I think with uh, Total OS Today and also uh, Steve's very own, I think you'll find Dan there as well. Dan's very active in the community as well. Make up your own mind whether you want to install this or not, uh, considering that um, it doesn't integrate with flat packs. I don't know about snaps. Thought I'd just do something very quick here. Um, I've installed um, a snap package, um, GIMP snap package. I've uninstalled the flat pack. Um, this is the snap of GIMP. Now, just to be sure of that, I thought the command to run a, a snap package was, um, if we have a look at snap list, not, I haven't used snaps much, but um, I looked up a couple of things online. Apparently you're meant to just type the name of the application, GIMP, but that doesn't work. And I used one similar to um, Flatpak, which is uh, snap run GIMP. So maybe, uh, maybe I was looking at an old website or something, but that seems to run fine. So that's definitely the uh, the snap package of GIMP. And that actually integrates, and I've pinned it to the dock. Let's unpin that. Let's close that. Let's open it up from here. And let's pin it to the dock. So snap packages are pinning to the dock. But I've got the snap store in here. But, that, but that's unable to pin to the dock. So maybe it depends on the developer and uh, what they put within that containment, I suppose. The same could be for Flatpak. I'm only trying GIMP here. I haven't tried too many other things, so it may vary. And that's the Snap Store. About software, or GNOME software. Snap Store. And as you can see down there, it's got the preview. So the ones, anything that doesn't integrate still has a preview. They just, they just don't have the option to pin to the dock. That's all. Um, so like I said, it may be the same for Flatpak and Snaps. Um, maybe it just depends on what the developer puts in there. It could even be the same for App Image. I'm not really sure about that. But uh, definitely uh, Snaps. Um, is an advantage in this case because it's actually able to pin to the dock with the uh, GIMP application. And it doesn't integrate with uh, anything that's uh, been downloaded and installed. Uh, what can you say? As a tarball, is it? This is my Firefox install. And the Firefox gets installed by downloading the tar.xz and putting it into opt and then creating a desktop file, which is what it's done. Uh, that, that's the desktop file. So it's not integrating with that either. That's just uh, grabbing the Firefox download directly from the Firefox website. So that's what I've done there. And uh, if we have a quick look at uh, this one here, which was my um, .sh file, let's open that up with mouse pad real quick. So this is the, um, the script that I made to install this. So if you want to check out what it's installing, and these are the applications here that I'm installing to get this dock-like taskbar installed. Um, they're all the, the dependencies that are needed. Now, I don't know if I've got more or less, uh, but these are the ones that I came up with. Your mind and your memory can get very clouded when you're going through the make and install and you're getting frustrated because it's not working and you're trying to figure out. There might have been a couple of dependencies that I may have put down there that may not have been needed, but I did take out this xorg-dev and tried it again and it didn't work. That that one I was a bit sus on because that was near the start. So it was, it was probably at that point where I started writing down the dependencies that needed. So I'm very confident that they're the dependencies you need. So the question now remains, I suppose, that do you want to try it out? Is it worthwhile downloading and installing these dependencies considering it doesn't um, 
integrate very well with uh, flat packs and app images. Something to consider, um, but if you're still keen to try it out, definitely it's probably worthwhile giving it a shot anyway. And I can see that it can only get better as a development further improves. So that was the um, XFCE dock-like taskbar. What do you think? Are you willing to give it a go? I've only done this because it was requested. Yes, so this script was made uh, for Johan, who requested some help in getting this installed. And also Dan showed quite a fair bit of interest um, on Linux Saloon. So this has been done in a virtual machine only. I cannot um, say that it, it may or may not work for your hardware or machine or whatever, but it is peppermint. I can't see it being a problem. Just bearing in mind that you've got um, a lot of development dependencies in there to get this up and running. So, it, so if you decide to install this, have fun with it, see how you go. Armed with the knowledge of um, flat packs and app images not working, uh, that's the decision you need to make whether you're using a few flat packs or not, or whether everything's uh, from the app repositories. Snaps, I cannot speak about but this is mainly I know Johan is on Peppermint so uh, it was done on Peppermint for that reason because that's the distro that is running and uh, I'm not sure about any other distro at this point in time. So that was the XFCE4 dock-like plug-in dock-like taskbar. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it interesting and informative and thanks for watching.